Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl LB Johnson and I am back with another video. Like, I'm so happy to be back with this video. Um, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So, um, what we're talking about today is come here hold on let's see let's we're gonna get into it just give me a second come here my friend come here who is it who is it okay yeah, so we're talking about come here, David. Um, God is calling you to take down Goliath. That's what we're talking about today. So, yeah, God is calling you to bring down the giant, y'all. So, let's get into it. God said you got the heart of a giant. Um, yeah, so he said you got the heart of a giant. Um, 1 Samuel 16, 11 through 13 reads, There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is, tending, he is tending to the sheep, Samuel said. Send for him, we will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent, for, he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. Samuel then went to Ramah. Is it Ramah? 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 Ramah. But, um, yeah. So God sent for David. And he had them anoint David. Because he was the one that God wanted. God chose him. But if you haven't, go watch my video. I did a video about, um, about i did a video about the enemy is attacking you because god is about to elevate you and then i did another one about cruising with god and it's so crazy because since i've been doing like the cruising with god video i've been feeling like i was gonna do that video um and then the um uh, before i did i was feeling it and then the one with they're attacking you because god is about to elevate you when I did that video, it's, it, it aligned with this this message, but it's not the <clears throat> excuse me, it's not the same scriptures. But now that I'm looking at it, it's all like it's all really connected. Like God is trying to get a message out. I don't know exactly. Well, at first I didn't know exactly what He was saying, but God is calling somebody to take down the giant. Like the giant don't have to be like you know the giant in your life could be He could be calling you to call, um, take down the White House. Or some government of, um, official, or um, like somebody who's like um, like the the CEO of a company, uh, entire company. But God is calling somebody to take down like something big. To you, it look like a giant, but God sees you as the giant. Like God sees you as the giant. Like to them, they are nobody. Like God knows that you have a heart of a giant. So he's calling you like nobody else can do the job but you. So God is calling you to do whatever the take down this giant, whatever the Goliath is in your life, whatever this giant is, he's calling you to do it. And whoever this message is for, you already know what it is and you already he already told you what he needs you to do. So, yeah, that's for you. For whoever this is, I mean whoever it's for, it's for you. <laughs> but if this is for you, go watch the video about they are they are attacking you because um the enemy is attacking you because God is about to elevate you and go watch the video about cru cruising with God. And I just heard too like it may like God may be calling you to bring somebody down in your family like you know like the person who everybody else is scared to speak to or speak against 
God may be calling using you to be that person to speak up for the entire family. So go watch those videos and watch this one too because if the message is for you, it's for you. But um, he said, there is nobody else for the job but you. God chose you. God put a covering over you so that they wouldn't recognize your gift too soon. God needed them to dig a, deep, a deeper hole so he can, so he kept you hidden. So God allowed them to keep digging holes for them. I mean, digging holes for themselves by attacking you, by doing different things to you. But it was only, it wasn't that God was okay with what they was doing, but he needed them to build a, a bigger hole for when he did come for them. Everybody will understand. Nobody will be like, oh, you the problem, you the problem. No, he wanted them he wanted them to keep digging these holes so that when he did come and bring them down, everybody will understand why he was bringing them down. So we're going to go to Matthew verse, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 5, verse 39 through 41. So Matthews verse 5, 39 to 41 is where we're going. And it reads, But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the turn to them the other cheek also. If if uh, and if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Now I always I've I've read that scripture a few times. But I never understood what God was saying. But now I realize the reason he wants you to do this is because you go over and above. When they go high, you go. I mean, when they go low, you go high. But he wants you to keep doing the right thing so that, like I said, when he bring his, um, when he have you to bring them down, they can't never say what you did wrong. You always went high when they went low. So it's nothing that they can speak bad about you. And it'll be obvious that they was the issue. God said he put you in that company to bring it down. Only you can bring it down. Um, Deuteronomy 7. Then we're going to go to Deuteronomy 7, 16 through 19. Come a little closer, my friend. Deuteronomy 7, 16 through 19, 16 through 19. And it reads, you must destroy all the people the Lord your God gives over to you. Do not look on them with pity and do not serve their gods for that will, for that will be a snare, snare to you. Yeah, whoever God, I'm like, whoever God is sending you to tear down, you can't have no pity for them. You got to do whatever God is telling you to do. And you got to do it boldly with confidence because God is telling you to do it. It's not that you're doing this because you're being evil. It's not because you want to uh, be conniving or whatever. It's because God is telling you to do it. You may not understand the reason God is telling you to do it, but God is telling you to do it for a reason. And if God is telling you to tell somebody down or tell something down or bring something down, it's not for no reason. It's something that they have done, that they have wronged other people in situations that he needs you to be the one to bring it down. He needs you to be the one to stand up for all of those people that couldn't stand up for themselves. So don't show them no pity. You may say to yourself, these nations are stronger than we are. How can we drive them out? But do not be afraid of them. Remember well what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to all Egypt. You saw with your own eyes the great trials, the signs and wonders, the mighty hand and outstretched arm with which the Lord your God brought you I'm sorry, brought brought you out. The Lord your God would do the same to all the people you the all the people you now fear. So God is gonna cover you. He's gonna give you the strength to take down this Goliath. He's gonna give you that strength. So don't hold back. Don't have no fear. You walk in there with confidence and you bring them down. 
but get guidance from God now. Confirm this word with God now because it's not for everybody to go and be a messy. God ain't calling for nobody to be messy. God ain't calling for nobody to be just starting drama nowhere. So don't think I'm saying that to nobody. But sometimes God needs us to bring people down, bring things down for whatever reason to humble some people, to humble some um, companies, to humble a nation. So God is choosing you to you. He's you choosing you. He's using you right now to bring down Goliath. So come here, um, David. Come here, David. Ain't this his name? He out. <laughs> yeah, come here, David. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Daniel. <laughs> come here, David. But yeah, um, you got the heart of God, so only you can do it. We're gonna go back to 1 Samuel 16, 18. 1 Samuel 16, 18. Reads. One of the servants answered, I have seen a son of Jesse of Bethlehem who knows how to play the lie, li I don't know if it's liar. Um, he is a brave man and a warrior. He speaks well and, and is a fine looking man and the Lord is with him. So you have God, is, he, you have God with you. So you, that's why you're able to be the one to tear this down, bring this place down, bring whatever it is God's telling you to bring down. That's why you're able to do it because God is with you. God is not giving nobody else permission to do this. He's giving you the permission. He's giving you the um, assignment to go and do it. And who, like I said, whoever this is for, you know that this is for you because God told you before he sent me to confirm this to you. So if God haven't confirmed this with you, because this is this to me seems a little messy, but at the same time, it's like sometimes God needs us to do this as children of God. And if this, if God have not confirmed this word with you, don't go being messy. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to keep putting this disclaimer out because I'm not promoting nobody being messy. I'm just saying what God needs us to do. And he's confirming it over and over in different scriptures that he's sending somebody out to bring Goliath down. God has been preparing you for this battle since you were a kid. So it's crazy because things like God different lessons different things that you have done in your life like if it's to bring a company down to do like a lawsuit or something god have been having you like you don't file lawsuits before on your own behalf or you don't went like you don't file grievances against company before it never been as to this size or it's never been this big but you have done these things before so now he's using you to do it is a bigger one it's a giant now it's not as small as you normally used to but you have been doing something in this field before like you done did this before if it's a um stand up to somebody in your family you done said little things but like you, you know you was always probably known to be the rebellious child in the family like you done said little things but you never been to the extent of what god can have you do right now like you know um if it's like something with bringing down the white house you know i'm just giving examples if it's something like bringing down the white house you don't um sent letters out before you don't file grievances against um government officials before but now it's like it's the whole white house he got you bringing down so whatever it is god is calling you to do he have already been preparing you for this like steps in your life you're gonna be like dang god that's why i had to go through this before but you done did, you, he done gave you steps to it, prepare you for it. But now it's like, he's giving you the giant. He needs you to bring this giant down. Like, he needs you to bring this giant down. And we're going to go to first, first Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 37. And it reads, But David said to Saul, Your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it. I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by his by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This is uncircumcised. Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Um, Saul said to David, go and the Lord will be with you. <clears throat> so God was already preparing David for this giant all his life. He had him find lions and bears and stuff. So if he can fight a lion and a bear, you think he can't take down this giant? That's the same thing with you. God had you fight him 
lions and bears in your life. So when it's for you to be prepared when he sent this giant to you. So don't get scared now. Don't be fearing now. Don't be running now. Like, no, God have already prepared you for, for this. And if God pe prepared you for this, and if God is with you, then what can man do to you? It's nothing that they can do to you. God is with you. Like, God is with you. God been with you. He prepared you for this. So it's like nothing else. There's no reason to fear. There's no reason to bag down. Now, like, God already ordered your step to be the person for this like don't bag down don't bag down go full throttle like go full force apply all the pressure at this moment like apply all the pressure do not bag down to this giant like god is with you you got the biggest giant like god is with you do not bag down y'all don't bag down whatsoever um all you would need to bring down all you would need to bring down this giant is already within you so you don't need nothing. Everything that you need, you already have it. You already possess it, whether it's something that's within your spirit or whether it's um, whether it's something that you already own, your possession at home or something that you already own. You already have whatever it is that you need. You don't have to go out and get nothing. You don't have to go out and do nothing. It's already yours. Whatever you need to bring down this giant, you already possess it. So don't feel like you need to get some training. Don't feel like you need to get no help. You don't need no attorney. You don't need no um, bodyguard. You don't need nothing. You already got everything that you need. And first and foremost, you got God within you. You got God right by your side. The Holy Spirit is within you. Speak to the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit for guidance on what you need to do. We're going to go to 1 Samuel 17, verse 39. I cannot go in these. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I am not used to them. So he took them off. Then he took his staff and in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the screen, put them in the pouch of his shepherd, I mean, of his, oh, of his shepherd bag, and with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. So that part right there, um, that was when Saul, he was trying to give David all this stuff, dress him up and all that to fight Goliath. And Saul, like, I don't need nothing. I got everything I need right here. That's what God told me. You already have everything that you need. You don't need nothing else to bring this giant down, to bring Goliath down. You're David. You're David. So you already going to win. Like, it's already been written for you to win. So do not be scared do not be don't be scared don't fear nothing go and take this giant down as i stated watch the video they're attacking you because god is about to elevate you and watch the video cruising with god because god had already ordained you and god had you like i said god had you covered already like he already he had no god had a cover a covering over you he had a covering over you so nobody wouldn't know how powerful you was. But now he's he taking that cover off you. And he's he revealing who you really are. And it, it's time for you to bring him down. See, had they known how powerful you was, they would have never tried you. They would have never tried you. Because they would have been too scared to try you. But God covered you. He hid you, I'm saying. God hid you. He ain't covered you. But God hid you because he needed them to try you. He needed them to slap that both of them cheeks he needed them to do all of that so that when it was time to bring them down they would have never expected it was you they would have never expected that god put you there to be the one to bring them down so if this is your word if god has already confirmed this with you don't go ahead and go for it if god already confirmed this with you go ahead and go for it like i said this word is not for everybody but if you know for a fact that it's you that god need to bring goliath down Go ahead and do it, David. David, go ahead and do it. Um, I love y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click the um, link in the bio and purchase my book, A Millennial Woman Walk With God. Click the notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever I upload another video. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.